Texas to Circle Live. Our next guest is a Grammy Award nominated artist who has entertained us with his silky smooth yes. voice for years and he has made us appreciate the beauty of a good old fashioned love song. Come on, Zone. Come on. He recently released his ninth studio album, Vulnerable, featuring his latest single push. Let's take a look. Gentlemen, please welcome my friend and the talented Kenny Latimer. Yeah! yeah. Hello. 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 Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Handsome, handsome. Yeah. Sit down. Thank talent, you. talent, talent, oh, talent. Thank you yes. for having me. Sister Circle, I made it. You made yes. it. I made it. You down made to the circle. It. <laughs> made it down to the circle. Thank yes, you. well, welcome to the show. Thank you very much. You yes. are so welcome. You know, you're back. How does yeah. it feel to be back? It's always great when you're releasing new product. There's just this energy about um, getting it to the public yes. and, and uh, seeing what the reaction is going to be. It's nerve-wracking, too, uh -huh. you know, to a degree. Yeah. But um, it's exciting. When I, I did this album, Vulnerable, um, it, it just felt like it was the right time. Yeah. I, I, I was actually... this is. This is actually the album I did not want to make at this time. I was going to make a jazz album, to be honest. Really? Because I love to cross genres. Mm -hmm. But um, my last album, Anatomy of a Love Song, did really well. And I was like, well, let me give uh, the public one more in this particular time period before I start to, mm -hmm. to change go, it up right, a little bit. Mm -hmm. a little bit. And now, speaking of love. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we know that our music is like, uh, it inspires us to to want to love. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How are there, have there been any new Ooh. love interests that have been inspired oh. from this new yes. music? What's, what's all this you know, coming from? Yes. There's, there's been a few. Okay, but, uh, okay. But I'm oh, not few. committed. I'm not committed. And I believe in commitment. Well, right. obviously, mm -hmm. you know I believe in commitment. Right. But, uh, you know, I think Vulnerable has been that, that uh, project that is allowing me to speak about the fact that I'm open, yeah. at least. I'm open to falling in love again, and, and that I wanted to sing from a standpoint of strength and not mm. weakness. Because mm. yeah. we look at vulnerable as, oh, it's weak, I know, it's weak. I know. Yeah. But, but you, if you decide to be vulnerable, that's different. Yeah. Do you feel like, with you having a project that says the word vulnerable, mm. that more men will accept oh, that vulnerability is a good thing? I think so. Yeah. I think so because I know that a lot of men come up to me from my album, uh, From the Soul of Man, from mm -hmm. years ago, mm -hmm. and we talked about how uh, I, that, that album, I think, said things that we don't always know how to say. Right. And music gives us that voice, yes. that tool, where it can speak for us or, or help us with those words. So I think that, yeah, men might say, this is cool. This yeah, is cool. beautiful. Beautiful. Um, you spoke briefly about, you know, being committed. Of course, you were married to Shantae Moore, and you all have a son together who's 14 years 14, old. Yeah. Does he have any music? I mean, two oh, musical man. greats. Man, he, is, is he into oh, it? He has it all. Oh, wow. He has it all. You know what's really crazy, though, is that I try not to push him in any particular okay. direction. He's a heavy sports right now, mm -hmm. football, basketball, runs track, and is doing really great in that. But uh, there are times when I'll see him in my little home studio, yeah. and he'll be creating music, creating um tracks and singing he has his, his own complete sound really? uh, it, it's it's and pretty it's amazing interesting because you know him coming from you guys you mm. would think that he kind of has the same kind of spice Tone or yeah. Yeah. No, and he as sounds totally, totally different, different. Wow. Totally. he has more range than me right now I don't know what it I mean lower and higher range at really? 14 he has more range than I do wow. and uh, it, it's interesting but I think that he That's ultimately great. wants to do music but again I try to just lay it back, and, yeah. and I told him you have to get a business degree if you're going to do music. Oh, no, that's yeah. right. Yes, that you know is how, very good. How to handle yeah. all of your yeah. your business. Good, so. good. And speaking of business mm -hmm. and music, <laughs> <laughs> child, we had Stephanie Mill down to the oh, circle. Right? Yeah. I, know, I know you heard. Oh, man, she was, was down here dishing yeah. the tea. When I tell yeah. you, she came down here with an agenda, mm -hmm. yeah. but a really good agenda. Yeah. You know, um, she really spoke up for artists like you and I, mm -hmm. and she mentioned your name um, oh, when she talked. You know, because she loves you. Yes, when everybody loves you. We talked about um, cultural appropriation as far as music is concerned. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I know that you've been in this business for a very long time and you've seen a lot go on in this business. What is your take on cultural appropriation with R&B wow. music? Wow. You know what? Uh, I'm, I'm going I'm to give you the nice answer. Okay. okay. One, and we can go deeper. But okay. I think that um, a lot of times we think of overt, overt racism. Mm -hmm. and, and maybe it's not that. Maybe it is that if, some, if somebody sees me... And if I'm the majority and somebody sees me doing something in particular, it's easier to sell or something. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, possibly. Right. Yeah. Come <laughs> on, benefit of the doubt. But the other answer <laughs> is that to be the creator 
of a music art form and to be dismissed from it mm. uh, is one of the most devastating things ever because we are such emotional beings. Right. And when we give an album, I think I've heard you talk about it on the show too. Yeah. It's like having a baby. Yes. You have a baby you're and, and then you're, you're talking about vulnerability. You got to go to the world and say, do y'all think my baby's cute? Right, right. And, and, and endure the criticism and endure all of the, the harsh comments or the great comments, mm -hmm. but still that vulnerability, it's rough emotionally. And then for somebody to then say, all right, Ann, give me your baby. Right. Mm. And I'm taking your baby away. And oh it's like, gosh. whoa, wait a minute. And you don't know what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. The industry has done that to so many through the years. Yes. You know? yes. It's like, like rape. Yeah. How, oh, oh my God. Wow. I just had this conversation with yeah. Carrie Hilson the other day. Yeah. These, these exact words, same words. rape, yeah. pregnancy, take like yeah. this exact same thing he said. Yeah. I just had this conversation Tough. with Carrie. How, how are you, when we come back, I want to know how are you able to sustain who no. you are mm -hmm. having to deal with that? Okay. So more with Kenny Lattimore when we come back, <sighs> including his newly released Christmas album. Ah. We got to talk about that perfect <laughs> stocking <laughs> stuff, yeah. right? Stay with us. My goodness. I just had, I'm I tell you, I just. We are back on Sister Circle Live with the amazing Kenny Lattimore. And before the break, uh, I wanted to ask you, like, how are you able to keep yourself whole ah. and sustain your feelings throughout everything that you've endured in the music wow. industry? Our relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. That's oh what I've heard people say it on here, too, and I've been like, that's true. It's so true that being spiritually grounded uh, lifts my thoughts higher mm -hmm. than the basics. Um, you know, in this business, we are reduced to numbers. We are reduced to analytics things like that um, in terms of how people are making decisions about what we do. So uh, knowing that it's really for us more about the art and the creativeness mm -hmm. and, and yeah. the depth, um, we have to find ways to get back to that. And I know I do it through faith. Yes. Yeah. And then sometimes it's not about, I gotta go and sing at church sometimes. Yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. I've gotta sing in other outlets. Even if it's at my, my son's school, right. I have to keep in mind how powerful music really is and how it affects the entire world so that when I'm off of my mainstream platform, yeah. I still value yeah. Yeah. You know, where I am. Yeah. And, and yeah. we just, earlier we saw um, your video push, mm -hmm. yes. which um, we, we were told is the inspiration for you going back in and, and creating this oh, album. It was, So yeah. talk to us a little bit about that record. You know, uh, like I was saying earlier, I didn't want to do an R&B album yeah. at mm -hmm. this time. And when Push came, it was a bigger song, it was mm -hmm. broader. And uh, which makes it tougher to market again yes. sometimes for an artist like me, mm -hmm. just because of having brown skin. It's yeah. like, oh, is it, mm. this is a little different for Kenny Lattimore. Mm -hmm. But my biggest song was For You. Right. There's nothing urban about For You. Yeah. No, it was a pop song. Yeah. And uh, so when I heard it, it was almost like, oh, this is making me think about what people loved about me yes. yeah. and the sound of it and the broadness of it. And my audiences are not just black people. Right. Yeah. It's, a, it's all races and, and people across yeah. the board. So I thought it was a, a song that could reach everyone. Great, great. So you had a Christmas album that was out last year. Yeah. Yes. But yeah. they're re-releasing this album. Yeah, Motown they re-released re it. Talk to us about single. that. Yeah. I, I love Mo. Thank you, Motown. <laughs> they, they put out, <laughs> Look uh, at that. There's a single called I Cry Holy that's a worship song so it allows me to be, to see my gospel fans. And um, they said, you know what? We want to push this song because we think it is a good, a really great song. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, I think, a part of Wow Gospel and a, a part of uh, the mainstream uh, platform for gospel music. Right. So thank you for that. And this is a great season. Yes. I, I'm happy to be here during this season. Yes. I'm just sharing love. And, yeah. and uh, this is great. Christmas is a good You time. are a bundle of joy. <laughs> Isn't he just amazing? And a smile just light up the whole stage. Good God. <laughs> Kenny, thank you so much thank for being you. with yes. us thank you. today. His thank album, you. Vulnerable, is in stores now. Mm -hmm. And you can pick up Kenny Lattimore's Christmas album there you go. as well. That's right. And the conversation always continues at Sister Circle. TV.com. The one and only Kenny Lattimore, everybody. Yeah. Yeah.